Now in multiplication of vectors, we will discuss the dot product, which we also call the scalar product or the inner product. Two vectors can only be multiplied by two ways only, either dot product or cross product. So now let me consider a coordinate system and the coordinate system is such that we are having a two-dimensional coordinate system means a planar coordinate system and this is our positive x and this is our negative x this is our positive y and this is our negative y so now any vector i can plot according to this let's say i have a vector and that vector is vector a which is along this direction and i have another vector which is along this direction and let's say this is vector b now i would like to find their interaction or their multiplication so in order to find their multiplication let's say i say that this makes an angle theta means vector b makes an angle theta with a in the same way vector a is making angle theta with b so i will say that theta is the angle between a and b now i will write that this vector according to my coordinate system is completely horizontal and it is having only one component while this vector is inclined so it is having two components and the two components of it are this is the vertical component of it and this one is the horizontal component of it so i will say that a dot b will mean a dot b when i will dot multiply these two vector this will mean that how much is this vector along a how much is this vector along a or we say how much is the projection of this vector along a so this will be a magnitude will come in and this component which is along a is b cos of theta because if i find these components then this one is b cos of theta sorry b sine of theta b sine of theta and this one is this one is b cos of theta so the component which is along a is b cos of theta this is b now cos theta i define is base divided by hypot so base divided by hypotenuse i call is i have earlier defined this thing that this ratio i will call cos theta so here the base is actually a the base over here this component this component i don't know what it is but i know that what is the high part here high part is equal to b so here is b and here is the unknown component so this base comes out to be equal high part times cos of theta and high part is b so this is b cos theta so the base of this vector is this much and it is equal to b cos theta and i have written this thing equal to b cos of theta so now as we say that why we are using cos theta and dot product 
then this cos theta is actually coming from the fact that we only want to calculate the component of this vector which is along our this vector. Similarly, what about b dot a? b dot a will be equal to vector b and then the component of this vector along this vector. So the component of this vector along this vector will be if I resolve this into components then this component will be actually equal to a cos of theta while this component which will be this component it will be a sine of theta. So I can write this one that this will be b a cos of theta. Now from these two I know that this is now a number not a vector number and number and this is also a number so i can write this one that a b cos theta is equal to b a cos theta because it doesn't matter if this one is 2 this is 3 so 2 3 will be 6 and 3 2 will be 6 as well so i can write from here that a dot b will be equal to b dot a and we say that the dot product of two vector is commutative means you can change their order and this is a commutative property of this now according to this one i can say that a dot b a dot b is actually equal to a times b while the x component of b because this is the x component of b similarly b dot a will be equal to b into the x component of a and this will give me bake this thing this we call the dot product now look here if I say that a dot b is equal to a b. Now look here. a dot b is equal to a b cos of theta. Now cos of theta. What if theta is equal to zero degree what does this means that theta is equal to zero degree means this b vector will come exactly over vector a so both will be in the same direction means they are actually the parallel vectors are they are the overlapping vectors and i know that when cos zero is here then a dot b will be equal to just a b means their direct multiplication because now the directions are not playing the role they are in the same direction and if i will say that theta is equal to 90 degree then i know that a dot b is equal to a b times cos of 90 cos of 90 is equal to 0 and cos of 90 when is equal to 0 then this theta will stretch this theta will stretch to 90 and now this vector is completely perpendicular to this vector and this perpendicular vector is having no projection so it is having zero projection along this one that's why the dot product is giving me zero here so this is the way to understand this thing the other thing is that 
If this angle means if B vector is here, so the angle will be this one. Now it will be A dot B cos of minus theta for example, then we know that cos is a even function and cos of minus theta will be equal to cos theta and it will make no difference. But we are considering that theta is the angle between A and B. Now, in order to understand this thing further, the limits of this theta is in the first and second quadrant. So this theta is between, means it is greater than zero. So it is greater or equal to zero and it is less than or equal to 180 degree or in terms of radians I can write that this is up to pi radians. These are the limits of this. Now let's say I take one example. Now my A, B are not just ordinary vectors but they are some physical quantities. Let's say one physical quantity that I am considering is force and the other physical quantity I am considering is x, displacement. Now how I will multiply these two vectors? I cannot multiply these two, the force and the displacement like ordinary numbers. So what I will do? I will have to multiply them like I take the example and the example is that I am pushing a block and a block is of mass let's say mass m block is here and I am pushing this block. Now let's say the block is moving in this direction and x is along this direction and the force if I apply it along this direction this is force. Now whether I will be able to move the block yes if the force is sufficient if it can overcome the inertia of this block because it is the mass mass is the inertia then this block will move this way. So I will write that the more I will have the force, more will be this displacement. So I am doing some work. Now, if I apply the force in this direction, if I apply the force in this direction, then I know that the block will be moved but not like this force. And when I apply the force in this direction, then I know that the block will not move. So I say that F and when it is multiplied with another vector quantity X, then this is equal to F and X they will come in here and now here will be cos of theta. Now look here. In the first situation, we are having theta equal to 0 degree. Means they are in the same direction. Both f and x are in the same direction. So we will have the result equal to fx. And we call this work. The work done will be F time X and if the angle will be, let's say for example, this angle is 60 degree with this one. If I calculate it with this one, this angle is let's say 60, uh, 30 degree for example, let me take 30 degree. Then it will be F X and cos 30 is equal to half. So I will, do, I will do half of the work compared to this one. I will do half work 
and if theta is exactly 90, then I know that I am doing no work and cos 90 will be equal to 0. So the product here, the product is work and work is scalar. Why? Because if I repeat means I move this along means the force is now in this direction and the x is in this direction. So I will have the same situation for f and x and that's why direction is not required for work. The force can be from the inside of the way the mass will move in this direction. So the direction is not important here and it is having no direction at all and the work done we call the we will multiply them is a dot product in order to have this thing equal to work now another question here that if uh, a mass is here and a crane is lifting this mass up Let's say for example, it's a crane and it is lifting this mass up in this direction. Whether the crane is doing any work? Yes, the crane is also doing maximum work. Why? Because the F is in this direction and the X is also in this direction. This mass is going in this direction. So the maximum work will be done here because theta is equal to zero degree here. And now this mass, this mass of this body will go from one point to another point. And that's why we say that it is translational dynamics. We say that it is moving. It is moving uh, one way or the other direction is not here because it can go this way it can go this way as well so that's why direction is not required for it it's a scalar number w similarly we can have if a is having some like for example 3 and x plus 2 and y plus 4 and z for example and b is a vector such that it is 2 in x plus 4 in y plus 1 in z and we will write like this. Now for the vectorial form what will be a dot b? For the vectorial form a dot b will be equal is the inner components will multiply x dot this because x and y are perpendicular to each other and they are unit vectors and their dot product will give cos 90 here and they will be 0. So x will only give result here with this and 0 with this, 0 with this. Similarly y will give 0, here it will give result, here it will give 0. So I will say that it is 6 plus because x plus x will become 1, 8 and then 4 and 1, 4 and it will 12 plus this and it will be 18. As the inner components are being multiplied, that's why we call this as inner product as well.